All right, welcome everybody at YouTube, and of course, people here watching on Twitch at twitch.tv slash ToddStevensMTG. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Uh, the deck that we're about to play is very similar to Demir Quasi-Sacrifice that we played uh, the other day. This is Rakdos Midrange. So uh, we have like our, our same kind of thing with our uh, quad quadruplet of black cards in both decks where we have four each of Seeker Squire, Midnight Reaper, Play Crafter, Eldritch Reborn. But instead of pairing that with cards like Hostage Taker and Quasi Duplicate, we are now pairing that with red cards. Siege Chain Commander, Rekindling Phoenix, Direfully Daredevil, Lava Coil. So it's a similar kind of deck. Um, but we're using some other things to kind of grind down our opponents here. Hey, Philly Willy, good evening. Um, yeah, so any any tips you would give a longtime standard player like myself that wants to branch into modern? You certainly want to pick a deck for branching into modern that you think you would like, and, and uh, I'd recommend kind of proxying it up. Like proxy, maybe just proxy up different modern decks and try them out, um, and find one that you like, so you can kind of, kind of go towards that. Because just buying like modern's an expensive format to to get into, so if it, it's not like the kind of thing where you want to just buy all sorts of modern staples. It gets pretty expensive. So yeah, I have a couple Doom Whispers in the sideboard. Um, Doom Whisper is very very good against the aggro deck, so I have that in the sideboard. Um, the uh, the plan here that I have with Eldritch Reborns and um, the Sacrifice Package with Eldritch Reborn and Playcrafter is incredibly good against the Drake decks. So our, our deck's kind of tuned towards Drake decks, but it's not nearly as good against aggro. So my deck's not as tuned against aggro because Playcrafter and Eldritch Reborn, aggro decks usually have some crappy creature to sacrifice. Okay, and speaking of aggro, it looks like that's what we got for our first matchup. So our, our build is worse against aggro, but I think that we're, we're better against drakes um, than playing things like... There we go. Than playing uh, things like Doom Whisper. Reaper plus Phoenix plus the new uh, D.Va is my magic magical Christmas land. What's the new D.Va? Block. So Chain Whirler will now kill my Squire, but I'm not going to just sit here and just take one. It's just a, a Squire. It's just a, just a Squire. Uh, Phoenix plus Playcrafter is a, is kind of a nice combo. Also, we have that one Bloodfast in the main deck where if we can flip Bloodfast and just we can sack Phoenixes, that's kind of a nice combo as well. Um, just go ahead and, and Playcrafter. We'll get rid of our Squire. Trade a Squire for a Lava Runner. Or maybe Firebrand. We'll see. Yeah, that's a good point. Working towards the mana base of your modern deck is a, is a good thing to start with. The plus one, plus zero. When a non-token creature dies, you hit the opponent for one. Oh, okay. I got you. Alright, and there down goes Playcrafter. Hmm. Gonna keep on playing him. Sarkin? That's a little different. We begin! He was just mono red aggro. I don't need it. I should do this. Uh. All right. So they do they want to get rid of Chain Whirler or the Sarkin? All right, Chain Whirler down. We get one more mana. We'll be able to contempt Sarkin. We don't hit a land drop I here. I'm just need this. casting I need Squire. This. And uh, yeah, 
We're up to 16. Going to go down to 13 with Chain Whirler. We're at a decent life total. That's a problem. We'll have our own Phoenix, though. The problem is we can fight Phoenixes, but then they just almost assuredly have a burn spell to finish off our Phoenix. It'd be really nice if they don't. Oh, Chain Whirler is just the worst for us. Third Chain Whirler. All right, looks like our opponent's got this one. Yeah, looks like they got this one. Don't know how I'm going to win this, but I don't think the blocking there is going to help me. Yes, they're just mono red aggro with just kind of random Sarkin in their deck. That's kind of cool. I like it. You can filter through your lands and make sure you just keep drawing gas. That's pretty nice. Alright, so we're going to have Moment of Craving, Ritual of Soot, Other of Rastus Contempt, Doom Whisperer, Cut Immortal Sun, Eldest Reborn, um, and I don't love Midnight Reaper, the life loss there and we also have ritual of soot i think i'm gonna tr i'm gonna play some duresses do I, do I want golden demise maybe i want i want maybe i do want some golden demise yeah i have one blood fast in i don't really want two blood fast but i don't really want zero either i like the one blood fast um maybe one duress two demise i have a lot of removal let's go two duress one demise we got the soot set and stuff also. Okay. Uh, Zagzerg just ordered my Jaya's. I hope you're happy with yourself. I am. Nice. You'll have fun with the deck. Uh, these hands couldn't, couldn't really get worse. Thanks, Eddie. Well, I don't think we're winning this. Doesn't look like it. Ugh. After getting stuck on three lands the first game, we're getting stuck again. Lightning Strike, Karn. They just have six spells. They're just going to have triple Steamkin. Triple Steamkin. Right, perfect circle. Oh well, indeed. And new match. <clears throat> Can we uh, go through this league in ten minutes? <laughs> I guess we conclude the deck sucks. <laughs> yep. That didn't help too much. Ugh. All right, so I'm getting the getting the elves video 
um, uploaded to YouTube right now. Hey, we got lands. And certainly not mulliganing lands. Mountain. Oh, we drew Cinder Barons for our first turn? I thought, you know, I only was looking out of the corner of my eye. I thought it was um, the 3 2 bull sacrifice something. So I thought we actually drew there. Well, that's what that card was. Alright, this is almost ready to go. Ryan says, hey Todd, I just want to say thanks for the great content. Top streamer out there for people who like seeing new brews and trying to brew themselves. Well, thanks, Ryan. That's that's my goal. And yeah, I'm, I'm glad, you're, glad you're here. Glad you're enjoying this. Um, so if I double block Wild Growth Walker... Yeah, I'm just not going to double block Wild Growth Walker. I'll go ahead and single block Branch Walker... I feel like if I double block Midnight Reaper, they, or with the Midnight Reapers on the Wild Growth Walker, they'll have a removal spell. Yep, like they're just sitting there looking at their removal spell in their hand. Alright, so we know they have an instant speed removal spell. Whether it's Cast Down or Rass's Contempt, we don't really know. But they certainly have a removal spell in their hand. <laughs> Play Immortal Sun, draw two lands a turn. Yeah, there's. There's four playcrafters in the deck. The Siege Gang is really nice with the Mortal Sun. These are about to be some large creatures next turn. Those are certainly nice together. I think I'm just going to take the four. And I guess, well, Vivian doesn't, won't even get rid of the Immortal Sun. I was like, hope they don't have Vivian to kill our Immortal Sun, but then, wait a minute, that doesn't work. Yeah, speaking of pump, pumping up the Wild Growth Walker, I think that's what this song's called, Pumped Up Walker. The oldest set in Arena will rotate next fall. Next fall, every single set that is in Standard right now, currently, they will all rotate, except for Guilds of Ravnica. Yeah, so like, towards the end of September, beginning of October, around there. Yeah, well, RNA is not on Arena yet, but yeah. All the ones that are in standard on arena right now. Hmm. They're trading a wild growth walker for a token, huh? This is not Assassin's Trophy, so that's good. Sure. I think we can grind through what our opponent has on the battlefield here. I am thinking we can grind through this. Uh, we lose two more life. We got Bloodfast. 
going. Play. Play the Blood Fast. Play that. Play Phoenix. And I think I just want to activate Blood Fast and go down to five and, and flip Blood Fast. So I'm not going to actually play the Squire here. I'm going to just uh, pay the two life. Two mana, two life, flip Blood Fast. And then it, it doesn't transform until our upkeep. So wait till then. Yeah, so there'll be no more Teferi in the next standard. No more Nexus of Fate. No more Carnage Tyrant. niv -Mizzet will still be here for an entire other year. And we're looking good now. Sure. I'll keep Contempt. Um, do I play other Squire or play Crafter? Play Crafter doesn't really matter. Like, they're sacrificing worse creatures than what we have right now. I could probably just contempt the Chupacabra. Do you think I could benefit going Mar this deck could benefit from going Mardu? Maybe with the mana from the next set. I think it's too hard to, to pull off a Mardu mana base right now. So I'm going to sack Phoenix to gain 4 life. I don't think they have an instant speed removal spell, which they do not. Just get rid of this thing. And we just have like this combo where we get to just gain four life every turn with the Phoenix. But Red has... Red has Star of Extinction, that's a premium sweeper. Um, yeah, black has like Phyrexian scriptures, it's not very good. But then of course Ritual set. Yeah, Mortal Sun winning this game for us for sure. Okay, going to game two. Good job, Immortal Sun. Siege Gang into Immortal Sun was very strong. Anything we want to change against Golgari? Golgari. I don't love Plague Crafter. Plague Crafter? Don't love it. Elder Shreborn's same kind of way. Elder Born's weak against Vivian, also, but the third chapter on Elder Born is so good. Doom Whisper can trade with Carnage Tyrant, which is a, a problematic card. So what if we take out Playcrafter, put in Soot, put in Doom Whisper, take out two Elder Born, and play two Duress. I think I like I think I just like duress in this matchup honestly. I think duress is good. Let me just take out Elder Reborn altogether. Gives me less things to deal with Carnage Tyrant. Um Let's see. Anything we need to change here? Do I need all three Daredevils? Daredevil is, is fine. Do I need all of them? I kind of want to play a couple of Eldest Reborns. I guess not. We'll see what happens here this game. Yeah, I think they run enough spells for Fortress, and especially the spells they have are, are very 
um, impactful. Uh, I'm thinking Find Finality and Vivian Reed, most notably. I don't think Playcrafter is too good in this matchup. There's usually like some crappy explorer creatures that are sitting around they get to sacrifice. And if they have like Midnight Reaper, they just draw a card. Hey Todd, if you're going to go to a big important tournament today, what deck would you play? I think I would play Naya Value. Uh, might as well. Hey, Vivian and Find. Two cards I was just talking about. Take Find, we'll take Vivian later. We're gonna have a Jade Light and a Carnage Tyrant. A uh, combination of the two, Code Junk. I think I do think it's good, and it's a deck I enjoy playing. So they got a Thrashing Brontodon. That card's good against the Immortal Sun. I'm a little surprised they kept Thrashing Brontodon though, because from what from what we know here, they need more land drops, and so. I'm actually pretty surprised they just kept Thrashing Bronson on there. Go ahead and make this block. Draw a card. Okay, so I certainly need to duress next turn to take Vivian. Which means I do not get to... Um... Do not get to Contempt, which is unfortunate. I think maybe I'll just trade... Maybe I'll just trade Midnight Reaper for Jade Light Ranger. They attack with both. I think so. I don't really want to take seven. Okay, they're just single, singularly attacking there. Now I can block with like Siege Gang plus two tokens to kill Brontodon if they attack with that. Hmm. Well, now just two tokens. Kills Brontodon. I do want Siege Gang to die to just um, to draw a card. They're looking at their graveyard, I'm, so it's kind of looking like they drew Find Finality. When I use them to jump block ranger, like chump block ranger, well they're not they're not attacking. So I think I can just clear their battlefield. Yeah, and Midnight Reaper only lets like the tokens we don't get to draw cards, unfortunately. I was planning on sacking Siege Gang to kill Jade Light, but now I'm killing this Land War Elf. Daredevil Find gets me back Squire Siege Gang. I 
That's pretty good. Yeah, I'll just take the contempt to exile this Jade Light. And it's time to start attacking. Hey, Kurtash and Orasonic. Hey, y'all. We are here playing some magic. Now, I'm waiting until we have uh, some more knowledge of the next set. Or, like, whenever we have, like, all the, the cards available, I'm going to be doing card reviews. Uh, we'll be putting up a, a thing on YouTube with that. What? They're sacking a land to, to put a land into play? I was... What? Wait. They just sack... What? I have CG and Commander, like, just chilling, like, literally right here. That they knew about. Sometimes you just want to go to the next game. Sometimes. Oh, wait, not 0-2. 1-1. One, one. Yeah, 1-1. One, one. Siege King, Siege King Commander was our best card in those two games. Um, you know, with it getting pumped by the the Immortal Sun that first game was really good for us. And then, you know, that game we just got to wipe off all their creatures. So, yeah, whenever we have the whole set available on the 11th, um, between that and whenever before the 17th when it comes on when the whole set comes on uh, arena um, I'm gonna be doing a set review talking about going through basically the whole set c color by color we'll do that for like one one day for stream uh, record those we'll put them up on YouTube also but we'll, we'll do that here talk about all the cards here and and so you can be in chat for that um, I guess I guess I could kind of figure out what day I want to do that so we we know so I could just like start saying what day I'm gonna do that. Like we know, so we'll have like the entire set on the 11th, and then the 17th it it comes to there. So probably it'll probably be the 14th or 15th. So maybe I guess we could kind of do it like the maybe we could just do it the 11th that Friday when we have the whole set. What's our playing? Golgari. Eh, whatever. I just want to get towards this Immortal Sun. I think the only way I win this game with the few cards that we have is getting this Immortal Sun in play. So, I'm getting rid of spell. Immortal Sun's a two of. Hey, cool. Glad you're... Uh, <laughs> yeah, glad you're uh, enjoying the YouTube. Yeah, it is kind of hard to find. To, to find the YouTube channel, you can just go to... Uh, YouTube.com slash C for creator slash Todd Stevens MTG. So that's where you can find my page. YouTube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. Um, yeah. Of course, you can also just subscribe to the channel. It helps out as well. Yeah, Immortal Sun does do a lot of things. Uh, one of those things is winning the game. And I like that quite a bit. I'm glad we got Playcrafter out of our hand before Midnight Reaper. Certainly glad we ha certainly glad about that. Foul or did orchard or orchard or card No, this is what I do full time. Yep, big nub. So I'm I'm here every day, three to ten Eastern time. You know, I'll be here tomorrow as well, every day. And um, yeah, so right now, so income comes from subscribers and and donations and stuff like that. Necrotic wound. That's a that's a good card right there in that spot. Work hard. <laughs> I 
poison tip archer. Whenever another creature dies. So that's my creatures as well, and its tokens. So I'll lose a life every creature that dies. That could be a lot of life. I'd like to find something to kill that poison tip archer. Finality? So that'll kill four creatures. Archer's gonna live, so we're gonna lose four from that. But, good news is Archer's the only creature for their, this Eldest Reborn. Yeah, we played... I played a... Um, and I, I could have gone Playcrafter plus Phoenix. I, I think this is worth it. Like, I could have played like Phoenix first and then Playcrafter, sack the Phoenix kind of thing. I don't think that's worth it. Yeah, we played a... Uh, what do we play with Poison Tip Archer? Um, Sapperlings. We made a Sapperling deck. We played on stream with Poison Tip Archer. All right, gonna go ahead and do this now. If they, if they do kill the little Phoenix token, and so the rekindling Phoenix doesn't come back, then like I, I have Daredevil for fine, and Daredevil can get back Phoenix, so they don't have to be that worried about it. And we can get back Phoenix and oh no, our our siege gang's exiled. Yeah, it's this little one too. It can attack. We can attack people with this thing. With uh, the Immortal Sun here. Um, do I want Poison Tip Archer or Midnight Reaper? Vivian, of course, does nothing because of the Immortal Sun. We're already drawing a lot of cards. Let's get Poison Tip Archer. We're drawing enough cards. Never mind, not drawing enough cards. I guess they're just going to Chubacabra the Poison Tip Archer. Could have taken Vivian just to have a show of power. I'm gonna get rid of the Daredevil. Yeah, Mortal Sun's so good. Well, that's what you know. Even earlier, people were asking about why are you not playing Angrath. Well, <laughs> the Immortal Sun is just—it's just better. The Immortal Sun's just insane. And it's so good against Golgari, too. Alright, so Chup kill the poison tip. Sure. And we still just have lethal. Anyway. Alright. So, you know, we had a mulligan where we didn't have very many cards, but we had the Immortal Sun, and so, you know, whenever we were... Exploring with Seeker Squire, I was just putting Lava Coil in the graveyard because I would need to get to six six mana for a Mortal Sun because it could win the game, and that's exactly what happened. As far as sideboarding here goes, they're playing a little bit different version of Golgari, so I'm not sure exactly what we want to do. I'm thinking, hmm, Playcrafter and Elderborn felt kind of good. Like maybe, what if we just don't sideboard? Yeah, <laughs> Hanzo Gonzo. <laughs> Angras okay. It's not as good as other the other planeswalkers in the format though. Like, you know, Vivian, Teferi, those cards outshine Angrath at the five mana slot. Mortal Sun shuts th down the others and draws you lots of cards and makes your creatures bigger. It's very good. 
I don't think I want to sideboard here. I want to see. I'm gonna run this back, see if see how it does. Um, if you know, if we lose game two, we'll kind of have some more information on like what and if we need to sideboard. No fire, no steel. We still have a lot of sacrifice things in case a walker gets out of hand. And we have Frass's Contempts. No Angrath, no sub. Aw. Hey, yeah, doing really good. Doing really good. Been having a, a good day. Hope you've been having a good day as well. Alright, looks like we're going to be seeking some squires. Opponent, what are you doing over there? They didn't play a land. What you doing over there, opponent? Oh, there's their land. That good old Golgari Gilgate. Um, I think we can seek some more squires. Oh my. How does this deck win? It's kind of like normal mid-range decks. You just um, grind the opponent down through attrition. You have creatures left, they don't. Your your creatures attack the opponent, and their 20 life gets whittled down from down to zero. And that's the plan. Well, they're coming back. You know, land drop, then land drop, land war elf. They're coming back. Hey, BDU. Okay. Mm, no explore creature. Wait. Okay, we've seen them have... Hmm. You know, minus two, minus two. A moment of craving. We've seen them have the thing that gives minus X, minus X, which, which is X is equal to the number of cards in, in their graveyard. Okay, status just giving the thing death touch. Doesn't matter. Yeah, necrotic wound. We've seen them have necrotic wound. They just got rid of two cards. For no value. And I'm tagging with the squires here too. Um, they get to block one with Wild Rose Walker, but the other should be able to do some damage. Our opponent not playing a land on turn, a, sec, a land on turn two, and then just taking two cards and then putting those two cards directly into their graveyard has certainly helped us be ahead this game. Keep the other phoenix back to block. It's reasonable. I mean, we're going to win a long game with these Immortal Suns. I mean, we could win a short game also, but if they have, like, more Jade Lights... Like Crafter, not so good against Rekindling Phoenix. Turns out. Not so good there. So attacking out, they have to block every single Seeker Squire. 
So we'll trade two squires for for a playcrafter and a land war elf. So we're trading two for two, and we draw two. Well, Necrotic Wound would not have killed the Rekindling Phoenix still. They, they would have had one creature in Graveyard and one, and Necrotic Wound was only minus one, minus one. But they did have black mana for Necrotic Wound, like that, that turn they did that. They did have the black mana for it, but they just, it just wouldn't have killed it. Alright, two and one. We're coming back. Hey, Hanzo Gonzo. Oh, you're very you're very new and you had no idea how Phoenix works. Uh, sorry. Also, that's a cool name. Yeah, welcome to Magic. Hope you're enjoying it. Hope you're having fun. Okay, good hand here with the Squires right away. Yeah, how do you like a Magic, Hanzo? I'm playing a lot of Ixalan drafts to add to my collection. What would you say are the main targets to get from Ixalan packs besides the lands? Um, search for can to settle the wreckage. Carnage Tyrant. Um, Rekindling Phoenix. Uh, Jade Light Ranger. Treasure map, Legion's Landing. The Immortal Sun. Something new. Just don't even think I want to play Playcrafter here. They're not going to really have too many instants and sorceries for me to get with Darfly Daredevil. Like, the biggest thing I need to be worried about is... Um, is Conclave Tribunal on my Rekindling Phoenix? That would certainly be annoying. So do I, do I trade Squires for 4 life? This is a question. I say no. Hoping they do not conclave tribunal this. No tribunal. All right, no tribunal. Um, so play crafter gets rid of the one one for our one two. Guess so. Coil the flyer here. I think I'd rather coil like a Benelish Marshal. Right now we have flyer kind of checked. I may coil something this turn. Yeah, I'm probably going to coil something this turn because they have a lot better attacks now this upcoming turn. So whether it's the flyer or one of these knights. 
kind of thinking a knight. Because the knights are going to be four threes. I don't think they're going to attack with this flyer. I don't know. All right, punch. Do some damage to me. Let's flip this blood fast. Oh yeah, heroic of course heroic reinforcements would be hard to beat. For sure. Well, I'm glad we got rid of the knight right now. The heroic reinforcements. Alright, go to blockers. So we'll kill flyer. We will have this block. Uh, 2-2, two, two, have a block of, what are we taking here, 8, 13, 15, that's too much, um, so you can block here, you can block here, they pay 4 life, now we're taking 11, going to 4, Going down to two. Oh, I missed that hunted witness over there. I missed the hunted witness over in the corner. I missed the hunted witness. Dang it. All right, moment of craving, moment of craving, golden demise. It was gonna be really hard for us to get it out of that anyway. I don't know if we could have. Doom Whisper. Let's cut all these Eldest Reborns and play Crafters. Um, so that's 62. Immortal Sun's not spectacular, but now there is Midnight Reaper. If we get rid of Midnight Reaper, we can play second Bloodfast. Or just a couple Duress. Duress is certainly good here. Oh, Dire Fleet Daredevil's not really that good either. Man, I have, a, I have a lot of cards that are kind of weak. But I have a lot of cards that are strong. I don't think I really want second Bloodfast. Play one Daredevil. Yeah, Daredevil has first strike. Um, doesn't usually do a whole lot. They can get their creatures over to, to toughness pretty easily. Yeah, I think I'd rather have Midnight Reaper than Direfully Daredevil. We're gonna have one. I do like the Duresses. Um, they have so many spells in their deck. History Banalia. Um, Conclave Tribunal. Heroic Reinforcements. I'm sure they're gonna have... Well, I'm not sure, but they may have Experimental Frenzy or a Johnny here. Oh, absolutely. Shockland would replace Cinder Barons. Absolutely. Alright. I would not mind this being a 2-3 so it doesn't die to Golden Lives. And it's a 2-3. Roy Banjo! Getting the hype going. Thank you so much, Banjo. Thanks for the hype there. Sub number eight on the day. I really do appreciate the support. Thank you. Um, Phoenix time. Why no attack? My creature was a zero one after the golden demise. Uh, Cause it got minus two minus two. So it was just gonna do deal zero damage. So, yeah, there you go. There's Frenzy, like we talked about. So, yeah, that's why I like Duress. I thought they would have a lot of things. Now that they have Frenzy in play, of course, Duress isn't going to do anything for us. Um, I 
because, you know, they have a frenzy in place. So duress, like taking their cards from their hand doesn't matter. It's a pretty good turn. Just four one drops. Pretty good turn. Oh, four one drops and then Conclave Tribunal. Really? Really? That must be that must be nice. That must be nice. And and then land drop afterwards so, so you can hit the land drop. Yeah. Pretty nice, I'd say. Can we race them? Potentially. I don't really like my chances of like waiting around against an experimental frenzy. And then, and then they get another land. We get to start playing stuff. Come on, have a second land on top. Nope. Another thing. Is that all for attacking? Okay. They are sending in. So... I'm gonna make some easy blocks here. If I take this, two, four, six, eight, I go down to four. But then I think my opponent's dead. Oh, they get to gain a life. They're gaining a life. That's a lifelink. They're going to 11. Dang it. I was thinking that was going to be able to just go 4 and then throw all these things at them. Hmm. So it's not any good here. With these Dauntless Bodyguards. I don't think it's good. We may be Soot next turn. But yeah, they went to 7 because that, that one life they gained. I, I have six, 6 power up top. So now we're going to just block out, and then after blockers, throw these goblins places. Yeah, we'll kind of see what happens. Oh, did we have, did they not have very many blockers? I guess I didn't really even count attacking there. I just think of this defensive play. So no, I didn't use coil because I'm using, I want all six mana to activate Siege Gang three times. I have one sixth of viewers of a GP. That's really awesome. That is really awesome. Thanks everybody for being here.
That's protecting knight token. Let's throw this thing. Let's throw this at that. And they sack their Dauntless Bodyguard. Um, what is this thing protecting? I can't even tell what this is protecting. Chosen Sky Marcher Aspirant. Um, so what are we taking right now? We're just taking two. Should I just throw this upstairs? Cancel. All right, so we're resolving this. I think we're only taking... I think we're only taking the two. Um, let's throw this upstairs. So now we got rid of the Dauntless Bodyguards that are... Um, that we're protecting the, the Aspirant to keep it around. So now we can coil this Hunted Witness so it doesn't make another token. Ritual of Soot away everything. Oh yeah, or we could we could shot we could have shot their face for the last two. I'm just gonna attack them for two. We can we can attack or shoot them. I mean, different ways to win that. All right, Dash Salt, have a good night. Um, so I still don't think I want Daredevil. Don't think I change anything. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, St. Trish. And yeah, thanks for all the kind of words about the game. Real Horatio, Master Chipmunk. Everybody, Nerzilla. Okay. Let's see if we can get game three. Ugh, against the stretch. This will be the tough game, getting a game on the, on the draw. That experimental frenzy really went nuts there. Um... Hopefully that doesn't happen again. <laughs> Need a pet Hawkeye? Hawkeye. Petting Hawkeye. Man. Why can't this Bloodfast be a land? Like double Golden Demise? It's like my best card in this matchup. And Coil's great. Yeah, I kind of want to keep this because it's double golden demise. Our hands can just like really suck. On six. This is so risky though. 25 land in the deck. We're on the draw. Ugh. 
Our opponent's on six. I should probably go to six then if they're on six. If they're on, like, so if they're on six, I'm thinking their hand's not going to be as good, so. Um, so I think we can mulligan that. If they're on seven and, like, thinking, like, their hand's good, I may have to just keep that. All right, take the Legion's Landing. Or, no, I guess I'm probably just going to want to take Tribunal and Reinforcement. So we'll just take, we'll just take Tribunal. I wouldn't keep, but keep. <laughs> uh, that's not a good draw. Alright, we need another mana. Let's get to this Phoenix. I love a Golden Demise. Nah, I said the mana first. Now they get to flip Legion's Landing. Maybe dead. I'm flipping Legion's Landing is really tough for us. Okay, I like the fifth land where we know we're going to be able to play Siege Gang next turn. Duress did a whole lot, though. Certainly. Like, you know, like Conclave Tribunal History and I were two amazing cards. Duress certainly did a lot for us. Okay. Oh boy. Um, uh, so, Ritual of Soot will only kill Bodyguard and Token. So it only kills two things. I think I actually Siege Gang and actually wait on Ritual of Soot. Why did I not take the Legion's Landing? Because I didn't think the Legion's Landing was too important of a card, but... Conclave Tribunal and History and Heroic Reinforcements, on the other hand, I thought were, were just better cards. Okay, so Phoenix, block there. Um, Siege Gang, block here. And then we chump that thing and uh, double those. So they can sack their bodyguard to keep Sky Marcher Aspirant alive, but then my Siege King stays alive. Hey, what's up, Dorky Dad Media? Hmm. That's good. Attempt this Vanguard. Just black red. Uh, black red mid range. Another heroic reinforcements. We're going down to two. We're going down to two, and then we'll be able to ritual of sit away the other things. But if they have yet another heroic, if they have a third heroic reinforcements, we're going to die. Okay. We don't have to worry about that. I could just play Doom Whisperer and have two blockers. I think I'm going to Doom Whisperer here. That's pretty good. That's a good draw. That's a good draw. <laughs> Don't forget to surveil with Doom Whisperer. Now, can I afford to attack? We know they're, they're making a 1-1 at end step. 
So they'd have to have heroic, heroic reinforcements kills me either way. So we can afford to attack. I, I was really kind of hoping to draw that land where, where I could sit plus have craving up. Please no heroic reinforcements. Okay. Well, that... Don't care about that thing. So we're going double moment. I think I, I probably should just double moment. Yeah, I think I just hold up on that. Just make sure we don't die to heroic reinforcements anymore. Oh wait, did they do that plus reinforcements? No, because... That's Conclave Tribunal. Because they wouldn't have the mana for that plus reinforcements. So that's Tribunal. I just had the best fun with your Boris Visitation deck. Oh, that's awesome. Glad you're joining. It. And we're taking one. Could have surveilled there. Potentially. Um, so I'm dead to reinforcements again, if I make this attack. If I don't make the attack, I can survive at one. I think it's worth it to attack, though. They have to draw exactly heroic reinforcements this turn, where they've already drawn two. So it's, you know, it's unlikely they draw another one, because they've already gone through two. But, you know, we're going to have lethal in the air the next turn, so. Yeah, I like the pr pressure lethal. Oh, Immortal Sun would be lethal anyway. I forgot about the two, the plus two from Immortal Sun. Yeah, so we just didn't need to attack because Immortal Sun. I forgot about the the, the the plus two damage there, but looks good for us. Now I can still just attack with Doom Whisper. But yeah, and before settle, right? Versify just hit mythic. Hey, way to go! I'm getting putting a few hype boats in that. Yeah, GGS. All right, three and one. Let's keep it going. And then after this, we got Hadana Stompy for our last deck of the day. We've had some really long leagues today. Of course, the Jess guy taking turns helped with that, obviously. Um, but yeah, we're over over six hours into the stream, and we're still on our third deck. Uh. All right, let's try it. Uh, Hazel says, hey, Todd, I just hit eight Mythic. I have a deck that... I'll I think you would like a lot. Okay. Man, these Cinder Barons. If only they were Blood Crypt. Mm. We're running quads. Quad Baron Trips Coil. Against the Grixis deck, not so good. The only card from your Boros Visitation deck I don't have is a Johnny. Do you think Huali could work as a substitute? Absolutely. Yep, absolutely. Since you're a Steelers fan are out of the playoffs, who are you rooting for? Uh, don't really have any team to root for now. I'm, you know, I'm gonna watch like the, or gonna like, you know, kind of see what happens and everything, but I don't have any specific team I'm rooting for. Yeah, you can post the deck. Dun, dun, dun. 
I mean, do I just throw a Playcrafter out there to make them discard a card? I don't think three mana, you discard one card is a very good card, so I'm not going to play it. No sword can look to the skies. Uh, I'm from Iowa, and so I'm a Hawkeyes fan. The Steelers had the same, like when I was a kid, I said be a Steelers fan because they had the same colors as the Hawkeyes. Selesnia Angels. Four land we're all four drover of the mighty, four druid of the cowl. That's a lot of mana. No counter spell? Hooray! Seeing if we hit a land drop here. There we go. Uh, you got a couple jade lights, some resplendent angels, conclave, cavalier, shalai, lyra, tristani, vivian, make a stand. Make a stand's pretty cool. I've been really happy with. Similar kind of card. I've been really happy with the Sure Assemble. That was Conclave Cavalier. I've never really thought Conclave Cavalier is like one of the best 75 cards you can put in a standard deck. Why Contempt instead of Playcrafter? Because I'm dumb. Playcrafter probably would have been better there. Playcrafter is very good against Nim Mizzet though. So that's a thing. And as I was starting to say that, my opponent was casting a Niv Mizzet and that was beneficial to me. Did I play land? No. Still not land. See, all planned. They they may have just like multiple Niv Mizzets in their hand, and they're like that could just be their hand is just like multiple Niv Mizzets, and so they played one into a play crafter. I don't know though. Wow, I think our opponents could be a little upset to see that they used a bunch of lava coils when we have rekindling phoenixes. Next turn. Squire. Or they have three lava coils. Okay, so Conclave Cavalier is good in best of ones and Scramp it in red aggro, gotcha. Sack a creature, sure. Now I'm not drawing a card with the token dying. Midnight Reaper is non-token. Yeah, we, we both did have Trips Lava Coil, huh? And so I could have... I probably should have just done that last turn against the Demanding Dragon and just attack him like that and, and then Lava Coil the Demanding Dragon. Well, our opponent's just going to die. We're going to have CJ and Commander is going to th throw stuff at him. There we go. So they had three Niv Mizzets and three Lava Coil. And we had four Cinder Baron and three Lava Coil. So obviously Cinder Baron better than Niv Mizzet. Obviously. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get Duress Bloodfast in here. We'll go ahead and take out these coils. Um, and uh, let's see. Anything else to do? I mean, we got to take out another card. I really like Playcrafter and Elster Board in this matchup. <laughs> Ban Cinder Baron. <laughs> um, yep, Cinder Baron is better than Niv. 
Let's see. I wouldn't mind having Doom Whisperer in my deck, but it and like the extra contempt. Like I wouldn't mind having those cards in my deck, but I don't think that they're really as necessary. Like, are those cards better than Siege Gang Commander? Is a thought. Um. Yeah, is Doom better than Siege Gang? I think that's kind of like the the big question I have. I think Siege Gang is my my weakest card in the deck right now. I mean, Siege King Commander takes out Niv also by just sacking the sacking the things and killing it. Um, yeah, Doom's bigger, but Doom also like like Doom's a lot worse against Eldest Reborn if they have Eldest Reborn, where Siege King is great against Eldest Reborn. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've, I mean, Phoenix is good against all this, but Phoenix will also just get lava coiled or whatever. So we don't know if they if they have it or not. Cam Dolph, thank you so much for subscribing there. I really do appreciate the support there. Thanks, Cam Dolph. Um, nope, no Angrath. We have. Let's try it. We have a Mortal Sun instead of Angrath. So Cam Dolph getting some hype. So sub number nine on the day. And Carmax Nova being number ten. Um, Mimic McGimmick tried to get in there for the tenth sub, but got to eleven. Do you think Wilderness Reclamation is as busted as you do? It is very, very good. You, of course, need to fill your deck with lots of instants, but that's not too hard. So, yeah, it is. It is very good. So, thank you so much, Mr. McGimmick. So, yeah, so I kept that hand because we really just need a second land with Seeker Squire um, to kind of start going on from there. Like, I, I like the Seeker Squire Midnight Reaper. We were on the draw, and we we were at six cards. So since we were at six cards, we got the scry also. So we got to see three cards before our turn two for like the second land. And I thought it was pretty likely that that with the three, seeing three cards by turn two, we were gonna be able to get a land. Now obviously it didn't work out for us. Um, but we're, we're not out of it yet. If we can hit land drops the next two turns, play crafter this nickel bolus, we're not out of it. Yeah, the day's going great, Zerf. Decks are working out pretty well. Um, gonna hopefully play Crafter Way this Nickel Bolas here. What do you think of Is It Drake's for ranked grind? I don't play a whole lot of ranked grind myself, so I don't really have a great opinion on that. And I also don't play too much of the Drake's either, so. Is It Drake's is really good. Um, so I, I don't think it's a, a bad choice because I think it is very good. Um, I would be, of course, worried for the aggressive deck matchups there with Izzet Drakes. But if you if you think you like your aggressive deck matchups, then go for it. I guess I just keep. <laughs> wow, Wilder's Reclamation is definitely busted. How the hell did that card get developed and actually made into a set? I don't know. It does seem incredibly good. But, you know, we'll we'll see. I also thought... You know, I thought uh, Experimental Frenzy from the last out set was completely busted. We'll see. So Ritual Set will be able to take out both Squires, but one is to take the Disdainful Stroke because I want Eldest Reborn, Immortal Sun, these kind of th cards to resolve. 
Dang. I was hoping our opponent waited a turn on, on the rit the Ritual of Soot so I could play Midnight Reaper first. I was hoping they were going to wait a turn. But they didn't. Yeah, remember when y'all thought I was going to lose this? Okay, come on. Let's get hit that land drop. Go Immortal Sun. Land drop? Ugh. All right, you got any card draw over here? Nope. Dun, dun, dun. Reborn, I win. I mean, I think we're, I think we're gonna win, yeah. I don't think our opponent can. I don't think there's really anything our opponent can have here. Cause it seems like they're just like a dragon deck, and my deck is so good against dragons. All these play crafters, all these reborns, and everything. Man, Midnight Reaper, you're a good card, but I just want to land. Picking up what you're putting down. Get two dragons for one card. That'll slow me down a little bit. Ugh. That thing's annoying. I, I mean, I guess I just have contempt. I guess I'll just contempt this blade wing. That's annoying. Yeah, Electro Dominance, also a card that seems incredibly good. And that works really well with Wilderness Reclamation. Talk about two cards that are great together. So getting their Nicol Bolas isn't really that good for us, like, transforming it just isn't going to happen ever, right? Because, one, if we trans if we actually had, like, the mana to transform it, it would go back on their side. So that's something we never want to do. Uh, two, we don't even have the mana, we'd have to have blue mana. Well, well, well. So, uh, I can only cast one Plague Crafter. So they just get to sack Sarkin. Alright, so we're attacking Sarkin. So if they block with Niv Mizzet, uh, then we would kill it. They did not block, so we're going to. Throw a gobo over at this thing, and now play crafter away that. Kind of doing it. All right, never miss it in play. Start so opponent got land. Anticlimactic. Yep, siege gang is great. And that's why I'm glad I took siege gang instead of nickel bolus. Two in general. All right, four and one. Yeah, opponent didn't draw too well. They drew lots of land early. Um, I think that's just going to be an incredibly... Like, dragon deck like that, it's going to be really hard to beat four Playcrafter, four Eldest Reborn with a dragon deck like that. Yeah, we got the 5-1 Dream still still there. I think we're going to start dressing 
business professional when I play MTGA appears to lead to success. <laughs> there you go, Horatio. I like that. You should try it. Oh, we got to 11 subs there. We got to our next sub goal. <laughs> Need a blazer. So, y'all know the drill. Since we got to our sub goal, let's do a poll here for after this match. Let's see what uh, what pack we want to get. We're going to be buying a pack here on Magic Arena and busting it open. Last time we got, we did Rivals and Dominaria earlier. Hey, the real Horatio sub on Twitch Prime 2. Good evening, Radical Guru. Thanks for the sub there. Um, well, now I cannot play Lava Coil because I led with Moral to Folly. How do you check the... Yeah, th you can see the, the deck list for the Jeskai deck here in decks. Later on, you can also watch the YouTube video of it there on YouTube. YouTube.com slash C for creator slash Todd Stevens FTG. And sub number 13 with Nilvin. Let's get this coil in. Yep, we're voting for the pack. So, you got 60 seconds. Vote to either M19, DOM for Dominaria, RIX for Riles of Ixalan, or XLN for Ixalan. So, you got 60 seconds to vote there. I think I'll just trade Midnight Reaper for one of these and uh, draw a card. Nope, guess not. <laughs> not RNA yet. Pretty soon we're not going to need to do the pulls because, yeah, we'll just have RNA. Let's begin RNA each time. light out here. All right, M19 winning it. All right, M19 is going to be our pick. Carney T. Unfortunately, that branch walker was there. So their only card for me to Daredevil right now is a Contempt. Which of course does not help against a Chupacabra. Or just like a Carnage Tyrant. Probably said Chupacabra because it's coming up there. Yep. We don't have a line to keep us alive. <sighs> I got stuck on lands a little too much there. I shouldn't have played the Midnight Reaper the turn I did. Should have kept killing their things. Alright, so we're bringing in the two soot, two duress. And cutting Playcrafter and Eldest. I think we cut Playcrafter and Eldest completely against Golgari last time. Though it is good against specifically Carnage Tyrant, but it's, it's just so hard to set up them actually sacrificing Carnage Tyrant. And then we bring in like Doom Whisperer to block Carnage Tyrant. And I think I actually had all the duresses in, but let's let's have like two eldest reborns in. Do I want this other contempt? 
I have like two Eldest Reborn. I'll try that. Um, I think Rivals of Ixalan may be weaker than M19. It's close. Those are those are the two bottom sets. Um, yeah, M19. Yeah, I mean, with with how much Jade Light Ranger is being played, maybe that bumps up Rivals quite a bit. The best set for uh, buy impacts is Guilds of Ravnica. Guilds of Ravnica is going to be around for another year. It has Shocklands, has a whole lot of good things for standard. Guilds of Ravnica is the top, and then I have, then I think Dominaria is number two and Ixalan is number three. And then I, I think, I think M19 is number four with, with Rivals of Ixalan number five. There's got to be some kind of dual land in M19 though, right? Isn't there a dual land in it? I feel like there's dual lands in M19. Yeah, and it has good planeswalkers. Oh yeah, it's Vivian. Oh yeah, M19 is definitely better than Rivals. There are no duels. Okay. Ooh, Nicol Bolas, Vivian, a Johnny, Resplendent Angel. Yeah, no duels. Okay. Oh yeah, there was. Yeah, because Ixalan had them. So yeah, it was it was Ixalan, Ixalan and Dominaria that had that had these buddy lands. Probably gonna have to contend with this Midnight Reaper, but I don't really want to right away. Cinder Baron M19, All Star. Stand format staple. Dub Midnight Reaper. So I don't want to attack with, or I don't want to block with Rekindling Phoenix. Or I should I should leave leave Phoenix back, because if they if they just go chup, they're going to Chupacabra Midnight Reaper, and now I don't have Phoenix back to block. I should probably leave it back. Well, am I just winning this race? They Chupacabra Midnight Reaper. I can just chump with the Squire. I don't need to chump with the Squire. We're about to make it bigger with the Mortal Sun. But yeah, no, I I should have left this back. But I guess we're gonna do five, then five, then five. Yep, should have left it back. Final answer. Um, is it better to coil plus contempt these two Midnight Reapers, or play Immortal Sun? Probably the Immortal Sun. Yeah. So regret my attack there. Regret the attack, but let's see. Because I think I think a mortal sun's better than contempt coil here. Because next turn, all of our spells are going to cost so little. We're going to be able to contempt plus coil plus something else. Hey, K man, sub number fourteen of the day. So we are one away from our next goal. We're already getting an, an M nineteen pack after this. We may be getting two packs after this. We'll see. So, yeah, if they wouldn't have played Chup pre-combat, though, I would have been able to just chump lock with my Seeker Squire and draw a card. Um, instead of just taking all the damage. Yeah, we'll keep that. Coil this. Um, yeah, we'll just play another Squire. Go ahead and attack in for five. 
because they're going to make us discard a card with this Elder Born, so it's kind of clear out our hand so we don't discard a card. I don't really need to worry about contempting a Planeswalker with the Immortal Sun in play. Yeah, I don't play the, the opens anymore, Mav. I'm just staying home streaming. I'm enjoying streaming more than, than traveling, honestly. Wasn't... Yeah, like... That's something I've been considering doing for a while, and I, really, I like this. I like staying home and streaming. Alright, Eldest Reborn. I'm just going to sack the Rekindling Phoenix. They're tapped out with that, and I, I don't need like the Phoenix back for a blocker. That last turn, I, I need the Phoenix back for a blocker. So yeah, you can you can find me here each day from 3 to 10 Eastern Time. Playing sweet decks on Magic Arena. Need a gang name for the subs. What we've used in the past is the members of Value Town. Get that residence in Value Town. We gotta get one more came in to get that to get towards to get up to that set that goal into to twenty. You gotta get one more sub. All right, got game two. Got game two against the final boss. We're gonna get game three as well. So our opponents on that eldest reborn plan. They are very much on that eldest reborn plan. Pack time not yet. We gotta get this game three. <laughs> you flood out every single match. <laughs> Whoops. Do you know anything about the mythic only tournaments? I do not. Do not know anything about that. Oh, final boss. <laughs> I always do say your name on stream. So that the final boss is whenever we have we're four one. If we lose, we're out. 4-2. If we win, you know, we get to our 5-win and we win. I don't really want this many 5s on the draw. I don't really want these Elder Borns on the draw. I'm going to play two more Duresses. No. One, playing another Contempt, third Duress. With them being on Elder Born, I'm liking Duress more. Yet... Yeah. There you go. Song thing works. It takes a little bit. Is it better to run Evolving Wilds instead of Tap Lands? No, the Tap Lands still add for both mana, both colors. I like them. Charisma with the sub. Let's get some hype in the chat for our new sub and for getting to 15 on the day. Thank you, wonderful, beautiful people. Thank you so much. So we're getting another pack now. Hmm. Opponent kept seven. There will be an Orzhov Sacrifice deck after the next set. Not currently right now. Hey, what's up, Gatsby? Ooh, I think I have to mulligan this. Opponent goes first, kept their seven. Hmm. I'm taking it. I think we can keep two. Thanks, Destroya. Sub number 16. On the day. That gets more hype. All right, we got to do another pull. Destroyer number 16. All right, we're doing another pull because we got to got there. So what set do you want us to get? So you got 60 seconds. Do you want us to get two packs of M19? So we're already getting one M19 pack. Earlier we opened a Dominaria and Arrivals. So you can either vote M19, Dominaria, RIX, or XLN. So there you go. Get your votes in the chat. Saving coil for Midnight Reaper. Yeah. 
Okay. One up here, Hawkeye. All right, trophies really annoying for the immortal son. Hey, boy. All right, what one? A pull hasn't finished up yet. Fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. So ravenous chupacabra would be the worst possible thing here. Oh no! I'd have to say anything, Hawkeye. A lot of damage coming across. Yep, me and my big mouth. Um, do I just coil Midnight Reaper? Or do I play Phoenix? They kill Phoenix. I'm blocking with a token. Hmm. So what one? M19 and Dominaria with the tie. Oh, but somebody said, yeah, Pantsu and then Crow also, but especially Pantsu said Dominaria right when it said polls closed. So they, we'll go. So we're going Dominaria. So we're gonna have one M19 and one Dominaria. Coil this. I'm taking seven. I'm using my mana. Yeah, if they trophy Phoenix, that's certainly good for us. For the extra mana. I was hoping not Eldritch Reborn or Vivian, something like that for Phoenix. Maybe I just... I guess I just take it. go to three. Ah, Siege Gang. So they got Coil plus Dire Fleet Daredevil? Yeah. And I'm, I'm not getting any value out of this Dire Fleet Daredevil, but we gotta stay alive. So... So right now with Eldest Reborn, Midnight Reaper is the best card they get they get to get back. If they kill my Daredevil, getting Daredevil back and Daredevil coiling my Phoenix is is honestly really good for them. Hey, that's cool, Radical Guru. Yeah, like that, that Orzhov Lifelink deck, that was um, a Night Owl deck. Yeah, glad you're enjoying it. Hmm. We've kind of stabilized. The opponent does get Midnight Reaper back in play, and they're about to play a Midnight Reaper, so they're, they have plenty of Midnight Reapers. No, I, yeah, I'm going to be playing Hadana Stompy after this deck. Yep. Yeah, so it looks like we're going a little later tonight. Um, leagues have been going later. Yeah, I mean, they could trophy Siege. Okay, oh, they're going to trophy Phoenix. And then go and get back Phoenix. I can still sack two goblins and kill that Phoenix. Um, and put it back on our side. So that's really not a big deal for me. I'm 
I'm glad they're not going to be able to kill the Immortal Sun now. Huh. I don't think that looks like a very good play for me. This ritual of set. Really like to get Midnight Reaper off the battlefield before I set. But still even... Even then. If I play Phoenix, then I'm dead to any removal spell that my opponent has. Which I don't think that's very good for us. I think spending 4 mana to, to kill their Phoenix with my Siege Gang Commander is certainly worth it. Because if I just play a Phoenix and then they have a removal spell and kill mine, then they just kill me in the air. So I think it's, it's better to, to stay safe here. Yeah, so I'm going to get back this upkeep now, or like this Phoenix now. Um, guess I sack a token. Alright, we know they only have a land in hand. Oh, I like this. I like this. Right, because we get to kill Midnight Reaper. I like that. Midnight Reaper, kill that at an instant speed. Uh, trade here. Um. Just block that thing, block that thing. Trade there. I guess I want to trade with Ravenous Chupacabra. Okay. Alright, Hawkeye, you're going to have to move out of the way. Thank you. Alright, so first strike damage. We'll kill this Midnight Reaper so they don't get to draw just tons of cards. Shoot that. Sack this gobo. Shoot that. This worked out really well for us. Them just attacking all in like this. And now we get Phoenix back. Um... So I can only I can only cast one card. Yeah, so they should not attack with Midnight Reaper there. I can only cast one card. Um Which I think that means I'm casting Immortal Sun. Yeah, we're casting Immortal Sun. Even if our opponent has a removal spell here, they cannot kill. They cannot kill us. I'm getting rid of Soot. I think that's our worst card. See so if they kill one of these, the other one will be able to block Jade Light, and we'll take two. Now we can start casting multiple Phoenixes.
want to see what my opponent does with this Elvis Reborn. If they target anything in our graveyard, we get to Memorial to Folly and put it back. So if they want my Siege Gang Commander, which I don't want them to get Siege Gang Commander. Okay, they're taking, they're going to Chupacabra the, the Daredevil. That's fine. So Spyglass should name Siege Gang now. Just didn't didn't really have anything great to get back with Daredevil. Like Dare, I could have Daredevil trophied, but that's just not really that great. I think I, I think I'd rather have Siege Gang than Daredevil trophy. All right, and yeah, they named Siege Gang. All right, opponent attacking out. I was kind of hoping they would not make this attack, but. They get to draw two, put us down to one. This is an intense game. We're down to one. Let's see if we get there. All right, they had their own memorial to folly. Ooh, Bloodfast is awesome. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll just fire off this duress, right? How much band do we got? One, two, three. Three, four. Okay, no, I, I can't actually fire off the duress if I want to cast the other things. We got to wait till our upkeep before we can transform Bloodfast. <laughs> Any more intense and we'd be camping. <laughs> uh, funny. Yeah, Bloodfast Phoenix is a great combo. It's a very good combo. All right, so they drew contempt off of off of the Midnight Reaper triggers dying. Why no attack? I don't know. I'm being careful. Ugh. Carnage Tyrant, then they can buy back Carnage Tyrant. Bleh. Spell. Spell. Thank you. Take that. If I would have attacked for ten, I mean, I wouldn't win. They would. They were going to contempt one of my things in response. I wouldn't win right here if, if I attacked last turn. I would have dealt them five. They'd be at fourteen. Um. How can I kill them from 14? I can't I cannot activate oh yeah, I can't activate Siege Gang Commander. It's it's named. Yeah. Yeah, you may not be able to see that. But yeah, that's name in Siege Gang Commander. Yeah, they Eldest Reborn my Rekindling Phoenix earlier. And then I sacked, sacked some Gobos to kill it so I could get it back. So that's why they have their... They have a Phoenix token also.
I was, I was trying to, so that was like my initial block, and I was trying to think of like finality if I wanted to change that at all, like with finality. Final boss defeated. That block was too good. That block made the opponent just pick their cards up and leave. Oh yeah, we're getting packs. We're opening up packs. Let's first let's let's claim our prize for that five one. Man, what a comeback there. What a comeback. So we got twenty one hundred gold for our five for the five wins. We got a precognition field. A Kazarov. This is like one of my least favorite cards in standard, by the way. I did a Dominaria sealed event where three of my rares were this Ka Ka Kazarov. And then, and then like you know, that's like here on arena. And then you like win three packs. And one of the one of the three packs I opened was another Kazarov. I just got four Kazarovs. I was not happy. And my r red black was not very good. I did not play any of those Kazarovs. And the mythic is Kumena. I didn't have. I don't have four Kumena, so that's a good one. Kazarov deck one. <laughs> Alright, let's get our packs. We got one M19, one Dominaria. Alright, let's see which one's better. So earlier, the Rivals of Ixalan pack was better than the Dominaria. So we'll start with Dominaria. Let's see. Oh, it's it's something I don't have four of, so that's that's a plus. That's certainly a plus. Rare wild card? That's the best card in the game. Alright, looks like Dominaria pack. That's that's not going to be beat. All right, Corset 2019. That, you got a tough one to, to try to beat. And Isolate? Ugh, not even close. Not even close. All right, so we determined that Rivals of Ixalan pack was better than Dominaria, and now Dominaria is better than M19. All right, so if you were watching this on YouTube, hope you enjoyed Rakdos midrange. Um, this is... You know, I really like my take on Rakdos midrange. You see some other versions around and everything. Um, I really like the Immortal Sun. So that's that's like a big thing about uh, like what, what I play with this deck. I play this over Angrath. I really like that. And I think we saw throughout those games how good the Immortal Sun was. It was just like our best card all the time. Um, so like that, like, like that quite a bit. So if you're watching on YouTube, hit the sub button um, and come on back for another video. And, of course, remember, you can watch us sometime live from 3 to 10 Eastern on twitch.tv slash ToddStevensMTG as well. But have a wonderful night.